Like the team for this project is crazy. Super established. You can look them up on their on their website. Blockchain, aviation, software development, uh, Web three, and then the backers. They got some. They got some nice backers with them. I saw Mono Ginobili in there. The hell. And some other folks, some other important folks, um, founders of companies, CEOs, and stuff. This is this is. This is not a game. This is this is not a game. Please be on the lookout for this. I beg of you. All right. So what's up, everyone? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome. Welcome to my home. Here we are. So, wow. This is amazing. This is crazy. I don't really even know where to start. This this had to be spoke about. I saw it and I almost lost my fucking mind. Completely just lost it. This is crazy. So let's get into it. This is a company called um Travel X. I have some notes here that I wrote down. So I just want to run through them really quickly, talking about this. Make sure you subscribe, please subscribe. So yeah, this is a company called TravelX. They created the NF ticket. The NF ticket pretty much is a tokenized ticket. You can sell, trade, auction, gift from wallet to wallet, even exchange the ticket. I believe about 24, 48 hours beforehand. But yeah, this is crazy, y'all. This is this is nuts. I don't think people really understand what's going on here. Um, they're 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 integrating aviation and blockchain. This is revolutionary. This is gonna change the whole fucking game. This is gonna change the whole game. We're moving into a completely different world now. Completely different way of interacting. We're, we're talking about tr trading, um, selling, auctioning off uh, airline tickets here. This is fun. This is exciting. This is new. A lot of people are going to be confused, but once it's here and you get used to it, I, I think people will love it. So here are my personal thoughts on it. Um, I believe it's revolutionary technology. It will be an industry standard soon, eventually one day. No doubt in my mind. The people, the consumer, the, the passengers, the the employees... We're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's just tremendous, amazing, beautiful. I can't even express it any other type of way. It's a better way to travel. So f for case in point, right? So you're traveling somewhere, uh, the date gets close, maybe something else pops up. You have to go take care of that said. You still have this ticket, you paid for it. You don't want it to go to waste. You can just trade it. You can gift it to someone. Um, you can put it up for auction for someone else to buy it. You have options now. It's, you're, you're not just you're stuck in. I think you might even be able to to push the ticket back and change the date. I believe so. It's 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 interesting how this works. Um, we'll break that down a little bit later. But let me just keep going. This will completely disrupt the industry. Um, once they get the wallet integration right to purchase the token, um, and they probably already have that right, if I'm not mistaken. Cause I believe there there is an airline already using it. I forgot the name of it. Um, it's like a European airline or something like that. I'll get the name, but Fly Bondi. Fly Bondi. Yes, Fly Bondi is using um the NF ticket right now. This is a game changer, y'all. I want to keep reiterating that this is a game changer. Please be on the lookout for this. But yeah, they're already like kind of like integrating using the software. So I can only imagine once this really goes like mainstream, this is going to be bonkers. So I got some pros and cons. All right, let's start with the cons. Um, and the cons weren't too bad. It's it's not even a lot of cons. I just think it's just gonna be 
more of like a learning curve thing. So this one is going to be consumer confusion. Um, people are going to be confused about how to use this. People have no fucking clue what is going on. They're going to be like, what is this? It's going to be the dumbest thing out. This has got to be the dumbest thing. Why would they do this? There's going to be a lot of resistance, of course. Like there is every revolution, every time something um, changes on like a massive scale like this people won't really like it but it's once they figure it out and they understand really how this works it's, it's gonna be lit and i don't even think that time will be too too long kinks to work out so that's gonna be whatever little kinks that might pop up along the way um just maybe little ux issues or um i don't know maybe th maybe issues with the with the um with the wallets Something like that, I'm, I'm thinking. There's always like some little issues, some little kinks to get worked out. The resistance to change. I spoke about this earlier in consumer confusion a bit. People are going to be very resistant to change. Um, they're not going to really want this. Uh, it's, it's going to probably be too much for them. They're going to be confused. But like I said, it'll it'll all be taken care of in due time. This, is, this will be the new standard. Mark my words. The pros, for the pros we have... Um, transfer, rename, resell your tickets. Game changer. <laughs> Game changer. Game changer. I'm gonna say one more time. Game changer. Sell, rename, transfer your ticket. Unbelievable. You can even auction them off. These are NF tickets. NF tickets. So you get your you get your e ticket, and then you'll have the, the tokenized version, the NFT version of it also, and they'll and they will communicate with each other. This is wild shit, y'all. This is wild shit. This is crazy. Next, less hassle for customer service. This is straight. You just you can just take care of the issue yourself. So, case in point being, um, you can't make your flight, or you might want to not get a refund, but I believe you can change the date of your flight. So you can change the date of your flight. What else? What else? What else? Something pops up. You can't make your flight. Give your flight to someone else. You can just rename it. And like I said, if anything, you can just sell the damn ticket. Put it up for sale. Somebody else can buy it from you. Game. Next, we got more control and flexibility with the ticket. Like I said, you can um you can sell it, you can trade it, you can auction it, you can you can rename it, put in somebody else's name. This is what we want it as consumers, as as travelers, this is what we want. Come on, guys. And girls. It's less stress if you can't make the flight. I spoke about this earlier. Less stress. You don't gotta worry about damn my money going down the drain. Oh, what am I gonna do? I gotta I gotta talk to customer service. Nope. You can just take care of that right away now. Right in your own hands. Right in the comfort of your home. Also, more profits for airlines. And customers. So customers get profits from uh, possibly reselling tickets. Um, yeah, reselling tickets, auctioning off tickets. Maybe uh, it's a... Uh, you have a flight going somewhere and this is... Um, damn, I don't know if I should even say this. Um, this... this I don't, I don't know if I should say this. I don't know if I want to say this. Airlines get a um, they get they get a fee from the transactions. They get a transaction fee whenever someone decides to sell it or do anything with it. So that's cool. They make an extra little profit. So that's 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 really good for them. Uh, digital collectible and membership perks. Um, so yeah, that will be a digital collectible after you use it. It will um, I believe that. 
that receipt will stay it can stay in your wallet and that can just have that as a um, memorabilia um with the do like memorabilia for for that flight or whatever if if you decide to use it that is i'm thinking there can be some type of membership integration even though there's like once you get inside the portal there's a few things you can do there will be a, like a membership integration um of sorts i'm sure airlines will come up with some type of membership perks or something you could think of it as like a um delta sky miles jet blue mosaic mint whatever the fuck united got and stuff like that so this is like a premium um service premium customer service uh via this route if you get like a certain amount of tickets that's what i'm thinking two million tickets sold i believe i'm looking at two million tickets sold that's that's impressive wow yeah first airline tickets sold two to five million that's what i'm seeing in my notes the first nf ticket flight was auctioned off for one million dollars with air europa this is fucking crazy the first one and people don't even know that this is going on i don't see any news about this or anything i just literally found this how did i find this i was just online like looking up aviation blockchain stuff you know i'm a i'm an aviator on the low low i'm an artist on the high high on here at least but in real life i do a bunch of different things you feel me so yeah be excited people this is this is crazy i'm very very excited for this um we will speak more I, I will do some more reviews i have some um some tech some tech things please subscribe to the channel please please be on the lookout for future content subscribe um if you are not please join the community dmd originals get the nfts get my genitive nfts they're own variable get you probably can't afford them open seat nfts yeah, but get the get the Genesis NFTs. They're unrareable. They've been out. Um, a lot of cool things is going on. I've been working with some um, companies. There's a lot, a lot of cool stuff being built. It's a tokenized ticket that you can sell, trade, auction, and gift from wallet to wallet. Even exchange tickets on the Algorithm blockchain for a matching flight. So you can you can trade these tickets for a matching flight. What exactly is a matching flight? I'm not sure. Similar flight, same flight on another day. Got to be right. Flight to a different destination with the same price. A little vague, I don't know, a little vague. I'm out of here, I'm hungry, got some pasta waiting for me. Catch me in the next one.